Today more than ever, homeowners now have more options when it comes to selling their house. Should a seller work with a traditional real estate agent or one of these faster, cheaper, better iBuying companies? See, you have to understand that there's new heavily financed technology-based companies that have jumped into real estate. And I really wonder, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Now these iBuying tech-based companies, the ones we're most familiar with are Opendoor, OfferPad, and Zillow. And it's the option of selling your house with one of them or working with a local real estate agent. So let's get into it. Well, for a homeowner to make the best choice, they need to answer just a few simple questions. One, how do I make the most money? That would be my biggest one. Two, who's going to give me the best service? Three, am I being dealt with honestly? And four, does my choice help or hurt the community that I live in? After all, the vast majority of home sellers become home buyers in the exact same community that they're selling their house in. So let's look at this. Well, how to make the most money. This one's pretty easy. A seller only needs to consider two variables. One, who is going to buy my house for the most money? Two, who is going to charge me the least to help me sell my house? If we can answer these two questions, we've pretty much got it figured out. So let's jump into it. So Opendoor, OfferPad, and Zillow do not charge what they deem a commission. I call it a commission by another name because it's your money they're taking. So just to make everything as clear for sellers to understand, I'm going to refer to all the direct fees from all four of the options as commissions because that's what they are. So Opendoor is charging 7.5%. OfferPad is charging 7.5%. Zillow is charging 7%. And your local professional real estate agent on average right now in 2018 is charging 5.08%. So it doesn't take a mathematician to figure this one out. Open door is not the best option, neither is OfferPad, Zillow. It is, strangely, your local professional real estate agent. Now, I wanna break this down to show you that what we're talking about is actually true. Again, about the facts. So with Open Door, if you sold a $300,000 house at 7.5% commissions, you'd be charged $22,500. It's the same $22,500 for OfferPad, and Zillow would be a cheaper $21,000 commission. When you're working with the average real estate agent commission for 2018, the cost of selling that same $300,000 house at 5.08% would be 15,240 bucks. So you're going to save about five to six, seven thousand dollars if you're working with a local real estate agent. Plus, oh, I almost forgot here. There's unknown fees. We're going to get into this when you're working with OpenDoor, OfferPad, and Zillow. With a real estate agent, don't have any hidden costs. Now, are you surprised by that? Because I kind of was when I got into this. Now, the first one, OpenDoor, this is an example from a real offer that was given by OpenDoor to a real seller. And you can see they call it an an experience charge of 19,434 bucks. This is seven and a half percent. Again, this is why I'm calling it a commission by another name. This has the same bottom line effect as a commission. You also notice they have this seller repairs of $6,210. Let's just forget about that for now. And they got an open door market risk, a term I have never heard of in my 30 years of real estate of almost $5,000. Again, this is from an actual offer from open door to a seller. Here's an actual offer from OfferPad. We have over here, it's called a credit. credit are kind of a positive thing, don't you think? Well, you have to understand it's a credit to them and it's a charge to the seller. And as you can see here from the actual offer, it's seven and a half percent. They also have repair credits. Don't know what that is either at $5,700. With our real estate agents, I went to NAR and I started looking at what real estate agents would charge for their commissions. And you can tell over the years that commissions fluctuated. That's because market conditions fluctuate. That's because market conditions fluctuate. And understand real estate agents, their fee is in fact negotiable at 5.08%. So let's do a comparison compare and contrast here on how to make the most money. The iBuying platform makes more money when the seller makes less. That should scare you. A traditional realtor makes more money when the seller makes more money. Why? Well, iBuyers are going to flip your home. So when a seller takes a lower offer, the iBuyer stands to make more money. iBuyers make money on the flip and the commission and the fees. With a real estate agent, the real estate agent is paid on a percentage of your sales price. So the more you make, the more the agent makes. And this is the only way a real estate agent makes money. Case in point from the Wall Street Journal. At the edge of the city's stucco sprawl, a beige three bedroom house with a gravel yard sold last month for $240,000. The seller, Open Door Labs, paid $215,000 for the house in January. Replaced carpet and repainted, and put it back on the market. So as you can tell from the Wall Street Journal, Open Door got this seller to take $35,000 less than what a real estate agent would have listed that house for and charge them 
the commission and fees. Compare and contrast again. With the iBuying platform, they make more money when the seller makes less. The realtor makes more money when the seller makes more. The iBuyers try to convince you to sell lower. A realtor is going to negotiate for top dollar unless you instruct them otherwise. An, an iBuyer charges higher commissions. A local real estate agent charges the lowest commissions. And I underlined lowest because it's lower than any of the iBuying platforms. iBuying platforms have tons of hidden fees and a traditional real estate agent has no fees whatsoever. So at the end of the day, once again, the local professional real estate agent is the better option to make a seller more money. No hidden fees. Who's going to give me the best service? Now, this whole point is kind of hard to qualify, so let's look at a few absolutes that might help a seller with their decision. When we work with an iBuyer, they live in Seattle or San Francisco where they're headquartered. A real estate agent lives in your community. An iBuying platform primarily communicates with emails, texts, and automation. A real estate agent, call, text, email at your pleasure or if you want to talk at your house or over a cup of coffee that's going to be fine too an iBuying platform knows nothing about you personally a real estate agent knows exactly what's going on in your life an iBuying platform doesn't know anything personal about your neighborhood your local real estate agent would be happy to recommend a place for lunch a good mechanic or where you can get your car fixed with an iBuying platform after you close they're done with you because they made their money. With a local real estate agent, you probably just made a new friend. The iBuying platforms are motivated by money alone. I want to be clear about this. They have a fiduciary. It is to their shareholders, not the seller. A real estate agent is motivated by a community-based reputation. After all, they live in that community. And they also have a fiduciary, but that's to you, the seller, to represent you the best they can. The loser in this case, once again, is the iBuying platforms. The winner is your local professional real estate agent. Am I being dealt with honestly? Google iBuyer and look what's pulled up. It's as if there's a campaign against real estate agents to convince sellers that iBuying is a cheaper platform and real estate agents are out to get them. But as you can just see from what I just shared with you, with offers and honest information and clarity, and I don't have a vested interest, I'm neither a lender and I don't have a vested interest. I don't work for an iBuying platform and I don't represent anybody because I am not a real estate agent. I'm just a concerned citizen. Are you being dealt with honestly? Well, I want you to look at this offer from OfferPad. Does this look confusing to you? It does to me. I've got nearly 30 years in the real estate industry and I have never seen such a confusing offer in all of my life. There are fees on here I've never seen before. Why? Because they did not exist before OfferPad. I can only conclude that an offer given to a seller who doesn't have my years of experience in real estate, this is done so with the intent to confuse them in their decision making. Here's another actual offer from Open Door. Same thing. Look at the names of the fees on here. Question. Why are they using terms that nobody in real estate has ever used? Question, why don't they just use the term commission like real estate agents? Well, when we look at some of the articles and the attacks on real estate agents right now, it seems like a two-pronged approach from these iBuying platforms to slander the real estate agents and what they do and what they charge in favor of their more expensive alternative. Confusing? Yes. Honesty? I really question. Does my choice affect my community? Well, when they take your equity, no, does my choice affect my community? Well, when these iBuying platforms take your equity, which they're trying to do, when they charge you more than any real estate agent, they take that money out of your community and it goes back to San Francisco and Seattle, two of the hottest markets and most robust economies in all of the country. When you work with a local professional real estate agent who lives in your community, they're going to take their lesser commissions and spend that money back in your community, keeping money in your community, and it keeps your community strong. That way, everybody wins. When you sell your house with an iBuying platform below market value, because that's what they do, that bad comp or comparable hurts other people who are trying to sell their homes for top dollar. When you work with a local professional real estate agent and they fight to get you the best deal, everybody wins. Values are protected, equity is protected, your community and probably your next purchase is protected. Conclusion. Sellers are being sold a bill of goods from iBuyers that prey on their limited knowledge of real estate, belief in technology, and assumptions that the old system is broken. It's not that the real estate industry and sellers cannot benefit more from technology, but it's not a benefit in the current form. To be clear, iBuyers cost sellers more money. iBuyers cannot give better service. It appears to be calculated and intentionally misleading. And when you sell low with iBuyers, it hurts your community. So don't buy into the latest craze. It's harmful, deceptive, and unfair to sellers. Work with a local professional real estate agent. That's your best bet. 
That's what's in your and your community's best interest.